Fake, fake BTS Whoa, sauce. A sticker. <laughs> yeah. Someone's on a roll today. Yeah, but I'm bump. Okay. Oh, by the way, in my defense, okay. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so, yay, our food is here. So it's as easy as that, you guys. We just order it and, ooh, you got Ovaltine? Yeah, but I don't see a straw. What do you mean? Oh, I know. They, they didn't give you, oh, it's in the bag. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. I was gonna say, I got my special straw. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, you guys, we, got McDonald's today because late as of lately honestly we've been <laughs> obsessing in um, Thai boat noodles yeah literally every yeah. single night we'd order Thai boat noodles so we figured today let's for our sake of and another sanity. thing for, <laughs> for anyone who hasn't been to Thailand all the drinks come in these cool little bags yeah so you can carry them around with you yeah without holding them yeah so so, Ch chicken strips. Chicken strips. Fries. Oh, I think this is your bag, actually. I think so. Yeah, because you got two burgers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's yours. Okay. Oh, look at the cheese sauce. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Oh, this is the... So I'm trying different things today that I haven't tried before. This right here... I'm not. It comes... <laughs> <laughs> This is the, the squid. Oh, what? Yeah. It comes in a McFlurry cup. Yeah, it's fried tentacles. Oh. oh like calamari I, kind like of thing? Like calamari. I literally thought it was like completely different thing. I hmm. like, like, you know, like the pork rinds where it comes really crunchy. Mm -hmm. I thought that it, that's what this was. Oh yeah, they're calamari, you guys. Oops, McDonald's sorry. has calamari. Really? <laughs> okay, so that's that. And fried chicken. And yeah, and fried chicken. So this here, this right here is plant-based pat kapao. So plant-based vegetarian. Um, st uh, stir-fried basil, spicy wow. stir-fried basil. Wow. That's all I can I, say. Look at that. So I want to try that. I think this is a lot of food. <laughs> I think so. And then I got just lot. chicken. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I like their little stickers. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, I got one leg. Yay! <laughs> okay, I the my favorite part of chicken is the chicken legs. Chicken drumstick, drumstick. like this. <gasps> they finally gave me a drumstick. Usually you can't choose. If you go into the restaurant, they let you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I got spicy and original because I want to save the originals for later. Mm -hmm. Unless you want some right now. I'm okay. I think I have enough here. Really? Because yeah. this is a breast right here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Original. Wow. No, I think I think this is enough food. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you know I love fried chicken. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Okay, so I love that fr the, fr the, the fried chicken has like the sweet chili sauce. Like, oh, Ovaltine. Ovaltine. Mm. Oh man. So this is what it looks like. I love that the chicken comes with a cheese sauce from McDonald's. And cheese sauce too. And I know we've done, I think we showed this the last time we were here. Okay. Deluxe cheeseburger. It's his favorite burger from McDonald's now. Yep, with... Lettuce, tomatoes, onions, cheese, ketchup. Yeah. It's good. So good. So cheese sauce. I'm going to try the squid with the cheese sauce. <laughs> calamari. Wow. Wow. Try it. Calamari from McDonald's. Cheese sauce? Yeah. Actually, you know what? I bet you, you liked it with the chicken sauce. Mmm. Because it's sweet. Mmm. Yes? More? That's good. <laughs> it's so good. 
tell you the cheese sauce better. Mm. That mm. is that is good calamari. McDonald's. Like wow. I, I could do not these are all from McDonald's. Yeah. You saw the bag. <laughs> you saw it come in. And I know different countries with fast foods. Mm -hmm. They have different things. Like I know the Philippines have rice dishes at McDonald's too. Or not maybe not McDonald's, but like fast food mm -hmm. burger joint. Mm -hmm. You know? Kind of like here, they have rice dishes. We're getting ripped off, man. <laughs> Seriously. I, I, I swear, like, the only thing I ask for at McDonald's at in Canada, it's like, just just put the fried chicken in there. Yeah. You and know, like, just like, the fried chicken. Okay, people. It's so good. So good. Like, like, like I'm not even joking. McDonald's fried chicken is my absolutely favorite mm -hmm. fried chicken. Like, it's so tasty. Mm -hmm. It's... It's crispy, so flavorful. Yeah, and it's really popular here too. Mm hmm. But. Mm. Like, I'm sure tourists see it and they're like. Fried chicken. At McDonald's. Right? Like, this is probably so, like, a lot fresher than. I don't know. I don't want to put any places down, but. It's you fresh. know, when you eat something, you know it's like. It hasn't been sitting there for. Mm hmm. 10 hours. Yeah, I feel like they go through it pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. And, and with, the cheese sauce is good, too. And with the cheese sauce, oh, my God. Yeah, that's a good cheese sauce. I don't know it comes in, like, the McNugget things. Mmm. <laughs> oh, okay. So, you guys, I know you see... The background, I know most of you know that we're no longer in quarantine. No longer in quarantine, yay! <laughs> but some of you still thought that we were. I mean, I get it. Looks like we're in quarantine, but we're actually in our condo mm -hmm. here in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Released from quarantine, free to travel within Bangkok as much as we like. Mm -hmm. If we want to go other places though, like to see your mom, mm -hmm. we need to like get a permit to go there right now yeah. because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Usually you don't need that, mm -hmm. but because of COVID. Yeah. Like right now for traveling around Thailand because of the lockdown, mm -hmm. you have to get a permit. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what that is yet exactly, but I, I do know that that's what you have to do. Yeah, we haven't gotten into it yet. Like, we're planning on going to see my mom soon mm -hmm. because who knows how long this restriction is going to be there for, right? So it's kind of like you got to do what you got to do to do things, you mm -hmm. know? Like, take the extra measures to, or the extra step to, I don't know, be able to register yourself to province hop, I want to say. Because that's what the permit is. When you province hop, because every province has different COVID cases number. Mm -hmm. So some of them, say for example, Bangkok is very high. Where my mom is, is not that high, but it's still high. But it's not as bad as Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Because it's like in the countryside. Mm, so good. So good. And I know I'm eating it with rice. <laughs> with her. Yeah. So we'll see because they're also like talking about as of July 1st, they are introducing something new where vaccinated travelers, yeah. fully vaccinated travelers, I should say, not mm -hmm. just vaccinated ones, uh -huh. fully, are allowed to like fly, fully. are allowed to fly directly into Phuket. So if your country has direct flights from Europe or you know, Malaysia or something like that, directly into Phuket, yeah. and you're allowed to go there without quarantine. Yeah, for, for the people who's never been to Thailand and don't know where or what Phuket is, it's an island, it's a very tourist area, it's a destination beach resort, you know, vacation sort of, yeah, island, right? Very descriptive. No? 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most, well, one of the most well-known tourist islands yeah. for sure. Like Phuket, Pee Pee, mm -hmm. Krabby. Mm -hmm. like. So, but I still, I don't know, man. For, for Thailand still being in lockdown, mm -hmm. I don't really know how that's going to work. And lockdown for people here now currently is things close earlier. Mm -hmm. Certain things are closed, like the gyms are still closed. Yeah. The malls close early. They open later, close earlier. Yeah. Um, liquor sales, things like that. Everything's like yeah. a little bit different. They just opened up in dining, like dine-in. Dine-in, dine -in, dine -in, yeah. dine restaurants again for like, but you still have to sit like far apart from oh people my God. and things like that. We have to tell them that story. We try to go into a restaurant, like a, like a steakhouse sort of. I don't want to say the name because we, we left. We didn't even stay. Mm -hmm. So there was nobody at the restaurant. Actually, there, I lied. There's two people at the restaurant sitting there side by side. And then they sat us down. And it's probably a table for four, say from end to end. Mm -hmm. And there's a plexiglass right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so they said, okay, here's your table. And then we're like, oh, um, can we sit like, you know, like Aaron on one side and I'm on the other side between the plexiglass, but we're pretty much like- it We're would at be, different tables. It, it would be it would be like this, but the plexiglass is right there. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, you have to sit end to end. And end to end, I kid you not, you guys, it's literally- It was a good six feet. Yeah, and yeah. so for me, for and and with plexiglass, and imagine the plexiglass. So yeah. if we were to stay and eat and talk and whatever, I would be yelling. Yeah. At Aaron. And the, the other table was sitting like <laughs> this, almost yeah, next yeah, to each other with like plexiglass. And I was, I was like, like well, well, can't we sit like down? They're like, oh no, sorry, something about the table or something. And I was like, and then I was like, whatever. That doesn't make sense. So we left. Mm -hmm. We didn't even sit down. We're like, okay. So things, it's, so things it, are very strict. So here. it's fine. We will, yeah. We'll just leave. You know. Yeah. So things are still very strict. Very strict. Mm -hmm. So for them to open up in July, I just don't know mm -hmm. if everything will be up and running, up and open. Well, it's a lot for people to like, even get back to their shops and start opening and stuff too, right? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. like it's only a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know either. And not every single country will will have that access to direct flight directly no. to Phuket. Yeah. So I feel like it's going to be like Malaysia, Philippines, like mm -hmm. like Southeast Asia, maybe Europe. Is mm -hmm. there is Europe? They just said they put on Europe flights too. Oh. Oh. So, but they're also talking about how to do it if people transfer through Bangkok because that's how most people fly in, right? Mm -hmm. But they, they haven't figured that out yet, so... Mm -hmm. Or if they ever will. Maybe they don't want people doing that too, right? So, yeah. Oh. I'm going to try this. I'm waiting to see this one. Um, plant based. Patka Pow. Patka Pow. I wonder what the meat is then. <laughs> like plant. Beyond Meat? Uh, I don't. Beyond Meat, I don't think is plant. I'm sure I'll get corrected if I'm wrong, but plant-based, I think, is like I would think like bean or like some sort of all mixed plant material. I have mixed feelings about this. No. <laughs> like the sauce is good. The sauce of the patka pau is really good. Mm -hmm. However, it's very like the the plant-based meat is. I don't know what it's made out of. So in my head, it's kind of like, I'm confused. Mm. You know, it's very like airy. It almost looks tofu-y how yeah, it Yeah, but it's not tofu. No. I know what tofu is. I know, I'm just saying how like how it looks and how it looks and kind of moves. Hmm. I don't know, what does it look like to you guys? We should look it up on the McDonald's website. They'll probably tell you. <laughs> probably, but on the menu, it just says plant-based, so mm -hmm. it's not bad. Would I get it again? No, probably not. Very good option, though, mm -hmm. for vegetarians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'll go back to my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and my squid. Mm -hmm. so. so, yeah, going back to the whole traveling between 
provinces and stuff. Mm-hmm. My cousin, um, Tong's sister, she lives down south, and you know, right now there's no tourists, no, no activities down south, and she says it's very hard to. Um, <laughs> to just like be motivated to do her day-to-day things right and so she wants to go back up and stay at my aunt's house but she's even scared to cross because it's so hard to um to do it because of the unknown right mm-hmm. like she doesn't know if it's going to be hard to go there and come back mm-hmm. when she needs to come back like you know it's hard especially if you have a business going on and you're trying to make a living right like that's what that's what her dilemma is right now totally and that's the whole thing for even for us i was like well is it a permit like you like that's what i don't get is it a permit to travel around yes or is it a permit like a, i would think it would be a one-way permit it's it's a one-way permit oh okay so yeah, yeah and then it's you have a to get one- a new one to come back you have to get a new one to come back and mm-hmm. you have to do it every time you want to go somewhere mm-hmm as if right now. Gotcha. I know you're probably thinking, well, that's a hassle. <laughs> well, is COVID. It, what's, what's, yeah. was it worth to you? Mm-hmm. You know? And for people who are thinking, oh, well, can't you just drive? Because you mm. could drive from like Utah to, to Vegas. You and, how, and how would someone know? Well, here there's roadblocks. And you, and again, you need the permit. Yeah, because there's no, it's not just a free no. highway where you're like, okay, no, no one's going to stop. No, though, they stop and they check you. They right? do, yeah. So each, like when you enter each provinces, mm-hmm. there's a checkpoint. Mm-hmm. You know, and they say, oh, they probably stop you and say, where are you come?" But without the COVID, you can obviously just drive right through. Yes. But because of COVID, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Crazy. But... We'll have to apply soon because we would like to go uh-huh. somewhat soon. I would like to go before the mango season ends. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I would like to do. Oh, speaking of mango. Oh, the, some of you guys were telling me that the big mango that Aaron likes, the big one, it's called apple mangoes. It's delicious. He devoured the last one. Yeah. Right after, not yeah. too long. I wanted, I wanted more. Yeah, so, and hopefully. I and I had the red, the red cheek one. Yeah. Yeah. And I had some red cheek. So ones so hopefully we'll be able to make it to my gra- to my grandpa's place before the mango ends. Mm-hmm. And my my aunt said that she's gonna try and save the mango on the tree for us so we could go there and <laughs> pick it ourselves. That'd be cool. That would be so cool. Um, but yeah, but don't tell my mom we ran out of mango because she'll probably send us some more. (laughs) And the thing is, you know, when you have a lot of something, you don't want to get like, you don't, you don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. You know? Totally. Yeah. I can't wait for more. I could eat, I could eat a lot of those apple mangoes. Yeah. They're so good. Yeah. Really good. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm just happy to be out of quarantine, though. Oh, for like, sure. Man. For sure. I'd do it again, easily. Though, mm-hmm. it wasn't bad, but it's nice to be like... Oh. It wasn't bad at all. No. Not bad at, at all. all. No. Not bad at all. This is not sticky rice, so it's harder to eat with, a, with my hand. <laughs> You're sticking it together, though, pretty good. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't want to use a spoon because my hands are already dirty, so... Yeah. From eating the chicken. Oh, and another question people are asking. Are we moving to Thailand? Uh, that's kind of like a... It's like, well, kind of, sort of, not really, I would say. No, because we live here, too. Yeah, we still have... We still live in Canada. Yeah. So. Hmm. So. It's kind of like a yes, no, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Like... yeah, like we're just, but we're not like living just, here for the rest of our lives. Yeah, we li- we live here for the meantime. Yeah, we have a home here. Mm. You know, like you so. see you see this thing in the back here, <laughs> right there. That doesn't just like come easily. <laughs> so yeah, we're definitely staying for a while. For a while, yeah. But th- that's the thing. Like, I want to stay here for as long as we can because 
So, because you know when you miss a place and you haven't been there for a while, you just want to get a full dose of it and have like enough of it. So when you go back home or mm -hmm. other home, we're like, okay, I'm good for a while. I don't need to go back for another year or six months or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, like at the I same want, time though, uh -huh. you don't want it like the mangoes. Yes, you don't want to overdo you it. You don't want to overdo it. I mean, yeah. you're like, Ugh. like I know it <laughs> seems like kind of, kind of spoiled. We were like, oh, I'm sick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm ready to go home. It's like, yeah. Mm, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. enjoy it for sure. But at the same time, if, if people who've lived in other places in other countries, I've have been fortunate enough to live in a few different countries. It's like when you get there it's the initial excitement mm -hmm. like you're on vacation but everywhere gets to be home yep mm -hmm. you know whether you live in a small town in kentucky or you live in rome yep do you know what i mean yeah. it every single place that you think like you're vacationing and you end up staying there for a while yeah it's like it's it's gonna be mm -hmm. you get into a routine yep because that's what you're comfortable yep. with and that's yep. what humans just naturally do i mm -hmm. guess and then it becomes home mm -hmm. so yeah and that's that was what i was trying to say like when we were still trying to get organized you know how i felt kind of overwhelmed i felt a little lost maybe a little bit when was this like in the last quarantine? Th no the last few oh. videos oh yeah ago yeah. um because i didn't have a routine yet because i didn't totally. know what when i wake up what am i gonna do yeah. you know i didn't have a plan I still don't have a routine, so. <laughs> but now yeah. that I have, I, I actually have a really, really good routine yes. going on. You know, and you know what helps? <laughs> right yeah. there. Because yeah. it honestly does, it gets you, it, yeah. okay, what do I have to do? I have to start my day, I do this, I do that, okay. I get and up, this, I, I work I out, yeah. I have green juice, I take my vitamins, and then, you know, and then you go on with your days. It's like, you know what you're doing for the day, mm -hmm. you know? It's not like you know, just wake up. You're like, oh, what, what, For sure. what, wait, what? You know, like mm -hmm. that's me personally. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it works for you guys, but when I travel, I have to have that routine. Well, especially for filming too. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. So you know, because it does. It, it it is like a. It's a routine in itself too. It is. Like it is. Yeah, right. making so. a vlog. ASMR, like yeah. I have to fit all those into our daily routines. Totally. Us hanging out and like going shopping or hanging out, going for our mm. daily walks or whatever, like, you know, like you have to have a structure. Yeah. Like I've had friends and family ask I can't me, open this. they're like, they're like, oh, there you go. Oh. No. I've had friends and family ask me, they're like, oh, so how's Thailand? You've been gone for a while now. Like, you know, and it's just kind of like, well, I don't really know what to say. It's kind of it's kind of like home. It's, it's like home. So it's kind of so, like well, it's great. Yeah. But it's not like we're at the beach or in Samui or you know all the time. And, or well, we haven't been. We haven't done it. We haven't. We've been from our quarantine to our. Well, condo. no. Oh, you're talking about now. I thought yeah, you meant like, like all the time. So, the no, times so, that we come. So it's kind of like we're not in Chiang Mai. You know, no. it's like we're just like getting into unpacking uh -huh. still and things like that. It's like yeah. man, I just unpacked my last suitcase. <laughs> Like a day ago, <laughs> like, you know, so yeah, it, ta it takes a little bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's just right now normal living, like, cause it's our home. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what the difference between, I think a lot of people who travel, like it's really not, we're not traveling for a vacation. Like it's going to your other home, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and for work mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. for you. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I like having another home here. It's almost like, cause it's, it's almost like exact opposite sides of the world. Like there's so, so much more open. It's so much easier to get to Europe and like mm. other parts mm. of Asia here and Africa, like, you know, and obviously in Canada, it's all of North America and South America. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know. Right. If it wasn't for COVID, we'd probably be country hopping the, 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 the the neighbors of thailand mm -hmm. you know like that's what we wanted to do the year before mm -hmm. but then covid started to happen and we were just getting settled in mm -hmm. and we were here for what four months last time we were here mm -hmm. and yep. then we had to like fly back mm -hmm. so just in the nick of time before the lockdown actually happened so whew, you know? so anyway mm -hmm. 
Maybe after COVID. Yeah. We'll see. I wouldn't count on it, though. Nope. Me neither. Honestly, I'm just counting on living here. And, me too. Me know, too. That's about it. I, I feel like I haven't been here in here so, for so long that I miss it so much. Yeah. You know? And just being back for these past couple of weeks just made me realize, like, it's like, holy crap, what an amazing country. Like, They're also wanting to come, too, sometime. Mm -hmm. But... I know it's 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 gonna be harder because well school yeah they COVID. Have, they have school and it's covid mm -hmm. and just everything on top of that mm -hmm. so i know i know my sister wants to come for sure obviously right like yeah because they have they haven't been back in even longer than we have longer yeah yeah longer actually. yeah a lot longer so so she's missing it too but it's just so much harder obviously with kids it is, and it is hard. work and yeah yeah I, don't know. I, I think if my sister and the kids were here it would make this trip like complete mm -hmm. you know but it is what it is mm -hmm. we'll see them soon hopefully if not we'll see them back at home yep <laughs> well at least i'll get to see my mom and my grandpa <laughs> and the rest of your family mm -hmm. Mm. It's so crispy. Mm -hmm. Right. Man. Yeah. It's, yeah, I don't know. This is some of the best fried chicken I think I've had. <laughs> chicken strip? Yeah. Or McDonald's? McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're not nuggets. Yeah. This isn't chicken nuggets. <laughs> this is chicken strips. Yeah. Like, that's all Meat. breast. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, they don't have that in Canada either, or the states. I don't think. Oh, speaking of McDonald's in the states, I know some of you guys will most likely be saying, "Why don't you do the BTS McDonald thingy?" It's like I just literally heard of it like a couple of days ago. I I, don't know. I, I don't feel know I is. feel like it's it's only like a I I don't even know if Thailand's gonna get it. They're they're a band, BTS. Oh band. yeah yeah okay. Yep. So they've partnered up with oh, McDonald's. For sure, Thailand's not going to get it. Just like the um, but Malaysia, Travis Scott like No, but like stuff. Malaysia and stuff has it. So oh, really? So, yeah, mm. Singapore and stuff, I think. Mm. So we'll is, see. Are, is BTS really big here? Um, yep. Oh, then maybe Thailand will get it. Yep. But it all depends on country to country, for True. sure. That's the thing. Because so, it True. depends on their franchises and what they Rules have because right? yeah. we never got the Travis Scott stuff in Canada mm. like and it was huge in the states like huge people were going crazy for it mm. like mm -hmm. but you know it is you get what you get you get what you get yeah but the thing the funny thing is it's just the packaging yeah everything is the same yeah I know so I could pretend to get chicken nuggets yeah with fries and a drink. Yeah. And then pretend that the dipping sauce is a BTS <laughs> dipping sauce. <laughs> hey, why is there paper on there? <laughs> paper. It's a fake, fake BTS oh, sauce. <laughs> a sticker. Yeah. I'll paint it purple. Oh, that'd be awesome. So funny. She's doing fraudulent BTS stickers. <laughs> oh, couldn't get it. So funny. That would be funny. I bought it. I thought it was McDonald's. Oh, that was McDaniel's. <laughs> <laughs> wow, someone's on a roll today. Yeah, but I'm bump. Ah, that was good stuff. I will say though, the fries taste the same. Yeah. Worldwide, the McDonald's fries taste the same. Yep, it has to. Mm -hmm. It does. Speaking of which, as like the whole time we've been here, I haven't really been craving for fast food at all. No, me neither. At all. No. Well, like, except for honestly, fried chicken. <laughs> I've had some like North American food, like oh, sandwiches yeah. and wraps and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you but found a, f a couple. Couple good places. Good places that deliver. Yeah, I like the grab. I yeah. must say. Honestly, I wish. Grab was all over the world. Yeah, it, it's really good. Like, but like we talked about it the other day, the reason it works 
it works phenomenal here, yeah. like phenomenal. They're so fast from like across the city. It's because there's so many motorbikes here. So and with a many. motorbike, so many. it's not like North America. I don't know how it is in other countries of where you're from, but in North America, everybody has to wait in line at the red light. Yeah. So if you're behind eight cars, you're behind eight cars at the light. Yeah. Here, all the bikes go up to the front. Yep. So it's like there's no traffic uh -huh. for them. So uh -huh. they get here so fast. So like, quick. And some grab drivers, use cars yeah and they take and much longer a lot slower yeah so that's why but if it's not like it's so they're so common motorbikes here for deliveries like i was just down picking this up and there was like equivalent to ups i'd say here they call it carry express mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so and there was a motorbike delivering packages yeah yeah so yeah you know they use them for everything like they use them for taxi cabs one person sits on the back and the other person drives mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. But, I haven't been brave enough I've, to catch a taxi. I've, I've noticed that um, when we order food that is from like like 10 kilometers and more, mm -hmm. it's a car delivery. Mm -hmm. I had one that was pretty close the other day, actually. With a car? Yeah, with a oh. car. Yeah. Oh. Something brought brought it by car, and I was like, what? Oh, weird. I, was like, That's I guess gonna take it depends who, who, who picks it up and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, but yeah. Because it's a lot more comfortable in a car, obviously, mm -hmm. that far. Mm -hmm. but. Oh. Um, Another thing, this fan, I don't yeah. know if you can see it. Can you see it? No. No. Well, anyway, this fan, this Dyson fan that's sitting here. Oh, I, I can't get it. And my hand's kind of dirty. Some of you guys were asking what kind of fan that is. It's like an air purifier too. So mm -hmm. it's a fan. It's one of the fans with like that doesn't have the blades. It only blows from like the outside of the circle, but it also purifies the air because yeah. when we were here last time, we bought it because it was so much pollution. The, the pollution warnings were very high. It was so high. But this time it's not as bad because not as many people are out. It's yeah, it's because everything is in lockdown. Yeah. There's no there's no traffic, there's no I don't know mm -hmm. different thing that causes pollution. So it's like the air is clearer. It like is. it's I, noticeably clearer. It's noticeably clearer, yeah. And this and the fan it gives you a little status readout of like mm -hmm. the air. It used to be always be on like yellow and yellow. stuff. And since now when we've been back, it's always been in green. Green. Yeah. Yeah. Means the air is clean. <laughs> yeah. So we needed it last time, but Yeah. But it's, it it works as a fan as yeah, well. Yeah, and it's a fan as well, but it also cleans the air too. Of mm -hmm. dust and stuff too, but also mm -hmm. other particulates. Mm -hmm. So um, interesting fact for people. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, and, oh, and I know what? My oval teen's done. Oh, God. It's a lot of ice, too. I didn't drink this whole thing. It's like the ice is literally up to here. You can get it without ice, too. And yeah, we tried to do that before, but... Did we? Yeah, and they didn't... It didn't they, work? No, it didn't work. Mm. You asked the lady there. Mm. Maybe because it looks like you get less <laughs> without ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah for sure it's only like half full <laughs> yeah. like it yeah. wouldn't fill up the whole way yeah um i was gonna say i know some of you guys wanted to to get the the city view at night I'm, i'll wait till later tonight to film it for you guys and i'll put it at the end of this video mm. it's so pretty at night you guys sometimes when we're watching tv we leave the blinds open mm. turn off all the lights oh it's like i, I feel like i'm in space because we're up so high oh by the way that oh. bird comment. Oh, what? <laughs> did you get something about the bird? Well, no, it's just in my defense, okay? Because How I, did get so high? I thought birds had a um, like cap capacity oh. on flying, okay? Yeah. Like, but I didn't say it at the, in the video, the oh. last video. Okay. So I'm like, okay, no, that's and you know, like when. Yeah, I when I get thrown off like that, I, I instantly forget what I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. So I forgot to say, I thought birds had a cap max height of mm -hmm. flying. Well, I'm sure they do. And so then this one. <laughs> because they can fly. <laughs> How do they get so high? Like, <laughs> duh. I know. Jumped. I it know jumped. they can fly. Yeah, I know. But anyway, I just had to They can I'd go, per, they can go really there. high, though. You mm -hmm. know, like, that's a major thing for airlines mm -hmm. is bird strikes. Yeah. yeah. So... They go pretty high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just thought that was funny, like, oh. Huh? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> they're not here today, though. No, but they're no. usually here, like, early mornings when I'm working out here. They're like, even in the malls here. Yeah. There's birds in the mall. Yeah. Like, yeah. we were at, like, was it Icon? Icon yeah. Sam, yeah. which is, like, the fancy mall here. Like, oh. Well, the thing is, with 
bugs, insects, animals, birds, and things like that. Like they're everywhere here. Like they you are. can't say you're going to say you stay in a fancy hotel. You see an ant crawling around. That's normal. Yeah. That's a totally normal. Yeah. Like. They they get into like the pipes and the everything. They get everywhere. Little, There's little so many. Crevices, so so it's kind of yeah. like, yeah, like we're living with them. Yeah, you know for sure. They're my roommates. <laughs> They're our roommates. <laughs> as long as there's no spiders, somebody will freak out if there's spiders. Not yeah. me. You know, you know. <laughs> you can cut this out if you want. But you know what I saw the other day? What? Which would, I thought, oh, I wish I should have saved it. And what? I was like, oh my God. If you saw this, I think you would literally fall over and die on the spot. What? It was a spider oh. with a scorpion tail. There's, in Australia, there's some species of spider that has like a scorpion tail on it too. I was going to say, are you sure they're not scorpions? No. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. Because... It's like it's it, it doesn't sting you. Mm. It's like it's some new breed. No, no, it's it's apparently widely known. I never saw. <laughs> or those camel spiders. You ever seen those in the desert where people hold them up? They're like as big as cats, and no. they run super fast. They look like aliens. Yeah, they can outrun a person. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're huge. If it's the one thing I'm scared of, it they're spiders. Yeah, they're I'm huge. I'm not scared of anything else in this world. Yeah. Spiders, I can't do spiders. Yeah, it's, the camel like, ones are, it's as big as if someone was like grabbing Totoro goosebumps by the leg and holding him up and it would be that big of a spider, like this huge uh, spider. If right? you are from Australia. Don't send pictures of your spiders <laughs> with scorpion tails. Oh my God, have you seen them? Yeah, like, that's crazy. I, I, I don't want to look it up. Obviously, I'm not going to look it up. I'll show you later. But that's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe You've seen the camel ones, though. No. In like the I don't seek out mm. these things. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like they say, don't search up Google image. Oh, I know. <laughs> I do that. Every time somebody tells me not to suit, whatever you do, don't when I'm reading about descriptions and things, whatever you don't look this up, I always look it up. And it's like, and I always regret it. Yeah, it doesn't work. No. Like that's gonna haunt my dreams. Crazy. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Anyways, you guys. So I know. I know. Um, Anyways. Um. Huh? What? What? Yeah. Uh, what? Cool. Um. So I know. I know because I've been putting out like casual mukbangs and like meaty vlogs. Um. I think what I'm gonna try and do next, from now on, is if we are out or whatever, I'll try and you know vlog the clips and even of the area the scenery because i know some of you guys feel like you're actually here with us because you're you're unable to travel so mm -hmm. i just want i like that's that's the my whole thing i literally honestly just want to share it with you guys because we can you know mm -hmm. because we're here and i know sometimes i may i might think the situation or the scenery is kind of boring you know it's not interesting maybe it's not interesting to me because it's our home because it's you know yeah. because i've seen it i've been here you know you were so, born here you know so yeah. you've seen it lots yeah so so like so even I, things that, i have to to to, to to stop thinking that it, it this is boring yeah don't capture this well even you know? things that interest me don't interest you sometimes i'm like oh true. wow look at that and you're just like true so i yeah. I, I i will make a note to myself to try and you know, capture things that I think might be interesting to you. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and, and kind of have that concept so you feel like you guys are here with us and it's kind of like a casual mukbang and also a vlog as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, th I think that's gonna be really good. I think that's gonna be really good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but keep in mind, still locked down so we can't really go anywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but when I can, like I said, when I can, I, I will try. Mm -hmm that for you guys so until next time thank you so much for watching Mwah.